It was 9.50 p.m. on Wednesday, October 9, 2013, a night that a Calgary wife and mother will never forget. She was home alone at the time and she heard some banging on her door in the 0-100 to 100 block of Skyview Shores Garden Northeast. Thinking it was her family, she opened the door. And the three offenders rushed in, um, grabbed her, forced her around the house, um, were demanding cash and uh, gold. Um, the individuals, uh, after they led her through the house, obtaining uh, approximately $20,000 worth of jewelry, uh, forced her into a closet. They then fled the scene. The offenders were very aggressive and very violent. I actually got the text when I was at work, probably like 15 minutes after it happened. So I left work right away. Yeah, I was pretty emotional too at the time, so I just left work. Azad's mom has had follow-up meetings with investigators. After those meetings, she ended up in the emergency room. The memories of that night continue to haunt her. We're a strong family, honestly. We're pulling together, together. We're very strong together, and uh, we're doing what we can, you know, pull through, but it's not easy. Your home is your castle, you think you're safe, and all of a sudden you've got three masked individuals in front of you, forcing you around your home, yelling and screaming at you, making demands. It's incredibly traumatic. The family had recently celebrated a big event and had a large amount of jewelry they wouldn't normally have on hand. Investigators believe that this was a targeted attack. These are upstanding citizens um, that, are, that are victimized and are targeted as a result of somebody knowing that one of the individuals may have had a significant amount of uh, gold and jewelry in the home at the time. Azad and his family feel it's very important to speak out about this crime. I want to find out who did it. I want to find out who's like responsible. I don't want to make sure like they don't go around doing this to anybody else. And I want to make it stop here, you know, end of life for them. The first suspect is described as an Aboriginal 5'6 with a medium build. He wore a black mask, black gloves, black jacket, blue jeans, and was armed with a black handgun. The second suspect is described as 5'11 with a medium build. He was wearing a black jacket, black mask, black gloves, and had a knife in his hand. The third suspect is said to be 5'3 with a medium build. At the time of the crime, he was wearing a mask, black gloves, black jacket and pants. He was carrying a knife as well. Investigators on the victim's family are asking for your help. Now Crime Stoppers could pay you a cash award of up to $2,000 for information on this or any unsolved crime, the recovery of stolen property, drugs or the arrest of any wanted person. Your tips are anonymous and completely confidential. You can talk, type or text your information in. For Go Calgary, I'm Lisa Walansky.